Hey there folks, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make a foil armature for a standing figure. And then we're going to make some air dry clay and then we're going to put it on the armature. So first I'm going to start by tracing out this kind of beam shape that'll be the standing platform for the standing figure. I'm going to go ahead and cut it out of the cardboard. You might want some help with that. Mark where the feet are going to go. I'm going to roll up a couple pieces of foil. They're about a foot long measured, and I'm going to twist them tight. So they become these kind of aluminum foil ropes. I'm going to do two of those. You want to twist them pretty tight so they don't unravel. So roll it up, twist the ends first at the end. Roll it, give it a squeeze, twist the ends, and then twist the rest of it. You want to find the midpoint on both of them and bend them so that you have like two V's. And then you can interlock them so they're like links of a chain. And then you'll twist both of them a little bit around each other. So what you'll end up with is the twisted area is like the torso of the figure and then right now I'm bending the feet and then twist the top part a little bit more and those will become the arms. You want to twist it so it stays together. I'm going to go ahead and bend some knees in there. Think about the elbows and the shoulders. And there it is. Looks like a person to me. And then I'm going to uh, roll a piece of foil separately, a smaller scrap of foil uh, for the head. hot glue the feet down to the cardboard stand. Make sure that it's standing upright. I give the knees a bit of a curve and the, sh the back of the figure a kind of leaning forward so that it will stay upright because when we add the clay it's going to add some weight to it so you want to make sure it's kind of he's kind of hunkered over he's kind of leaning with his knees bent like that so the glue's dried and cooled down now we're going to make the air dry clay this is kind of like the other pulp that clay that we made before we use glue and toilet paper and water uh, we're also going to use some oil. It could be mineral oil. I'm using vegetable oil because it's what I have. Cornstarch. Some regular flour. And joint compound. You might not have that. Um, so just maybe use a bit more cornstarch and a little bit more flour than I do. So we're going to do the same process with the toilet paper as in the last video where you're soaking it in warm water and squeezing it out and then ripping it apart and then putting it back in the water and squeezing it out again just like last time you'll see later in the video that I add more toilet paper because it was a little too gloopy too soupy too soupy and gloopy rip it up after I've squeezed the water out of it 
rip it into tiny chunks. I have the hand blender that I'm going to use to mix this all up later. So if you don't have a blender or a mixer that you can use for this messy stuff, then you're going to want to do a really good job of ripping it apart. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Basically, the ingredients are kind of all the same proportions, except for the oil. So, you know, half a cup of toilet paper, half a cup of flour, half a cup of cornstarch, half a cup of glue. I do add more cornstarch and more flour at the end just to get the consistency right. And you're just going to have to play with that to get it right. So I've added glue, cornstarch, and that's the joint compound that I'm adding and mixing in there now. some oil in. That's just like a, a cap full. I, I add a little bit more later also, but it's good for now. Just keep mixing. So now I'm adding a bit more toilet paper because it was just too soupy. Rip it into tiny bits. A lot of mixing, a lot of stirring. And now I'm going to use my hand blender to make the bits of toilet paper smaller and also to mix it all up together. This video is pretty long, so you're going to be watching my hands mushing stuff around a lot. But making this clay it takes a little time. And that's a bit of flour I'm adding there, just a spoonful. So little amounts at a time. Stirry, stirry, mixy, mixy. So now I've taken it out of the bucket and I'm putting it down on a piece of cardboard because this part's really messy. And I've sprinkled some cornstarch onto the cardboard and a little bit of flour also. So the cornstarch and the flour is going to make it less sticky. It's going to give it more body. And you'll just have to keep kneading the clay and adding spoonfuls of flour and cornstarch as you go along and eventually some oil too. A lot of mixing, a lot of kneading. So I get it in my hands, roll it around. A little bit more oil. Just about getting it the right consistency so it doesn't stick to your fingers it's not flopping around too much you want it to feel like some kind of clay that you can actually make something out of right so that was a bit more cornstarch a bit more flour a little oil more flour more cornstarch. So this clay is, will, is an air dry clay. We're not going to bake it. And you can dye yours with paint or with food coloring later. I leave mine white. It's all about the feel at this point. I haven't really been measuring, I've just been using spoonfuls. And I can see that it rolls into a worm. So I'm going to go ahead and call that good enough. I'm going to test it out. I just want to make sure that it can like kind of hold its shape a little bit. It doesn't hold its shape as much as I'd like to, but it does some kind of job. Poke it to see if it, if it keeps a keeps a circle, keeps a hole in it see how thin I can roll it. I want to see just how skinny I can make these worms. This is all just testing it out. Okay, so now 
I'm satisfied enough with that clay. I'm gonna start adding it onto the armature. I'm gonna start at the bottom of it, put it on the base first, because this stuff, like I said, will add weight and it could start to kind of pull the, the foil armature figure over. Um, so we don't want that. So we wanna add weight starting from the bottom and, start, and then going up from there. So I take little bits of clay and I kind of flatten them out and, I, and then I press them on. That's how I apply the clay pretty much the whole time. Like little bits, pinch it so it like wraps around the skeleton or the armature of the foil. So now I've covered the entire figure and I'm gonna start putting in details. I'm shaping it with whatever tool you have around. I'm using a pencil here. I'm gonna mark out the eyes and the mouth. I'm gonna give it a chin, whatever you want. I chose to make kind of a human looking figure, but it turns out however it turns out. And we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna roll some worms. And these will become the hair, long stringy hair. In the container next to me with the paintbrush in it, that's watery glue some water and glue mixed together and that'll help stick things down. So you brush it on to the figure where you might wanna be adding things on. It'll just help it attach better. I'm gonna add some more details while I while I have all this clay here, give it some more character. So I brush on some of that watery glue and I'm gonna put some little buttons on this guy's jacket and a little nose. And I'm gonna make some tiny fingers, just a thumb for this hand and then a couple of fingers for the other hand. This clay you can't get as detailed as you can with maybe Sculpey or some other clays but we're just trying it out. Just chopping up some fingers here. Brush on the watery glue and stick those guys on. And there we have it. Some kind of, what is that? Maybe like a ice goblin? Some kind of snow goblin? Well, that's what it is, I guess. Good luck, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.